Joining me on the afternoon show this afternoon, we have uh, Lu um, Louise Walton and a very welcome return to Louise Walton and Jane Crossley. Both are um, health and fitness professionals. So you guys have had a hard time over the past year, uh, haven't you? We certainly have, Jane. Haven't we? We certainly <laughs> have. Jane's yeah. been amazing. Jane's been doing hundreds and hundreds of online classes. She is a legend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Since the start of the first lockdown, uh, myself and Annette Hall, we've done an online class every single day for our customers. That's so it's great. it's kept us going. It's kept us going and all our customers as well. God, I mean, that's and me as well, and me as it? well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, it's, I mean, it's been very difficult, Andrew, I think, for people in lockdown, hasn't it? Because lots of people have decided to go on walks and um, embrace walking or running or, you know, anything like that. And for fitness professionals, some people have gone on the online classes, which has been brilliant. And I've done that myself as well. And thank goodness for Jane and Nettie, because otherwise this lockdown load would be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That's mm. all I can say about that. Mm. So I'm really pleased for keeping um, the motivation going for customers, obviously at Overston Health Club. Um, I teach there, I teach Dance Fit and Jane and Annette, of course, do all the classes there as well. The right. amazing, amazing so classes. So you've, you've been doing the online classes and then, you know, you, you, have you been doing classes outside too? Yes, we have been doing outside classes. As soon as we were allowed, we've been back teaching. So now at the moment, we've been teaching on Birkrig um, and also in Ford Park, which has been fantastic because we've been able to see people face to face again. And it's just been so lovely to 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 meet everybody again and get everybody motivated face to face because it is, it is very different teaching online because you can only see yourself. You can't see anybody else. So that's been brilliant getting back outside. And, and when the weather's good, it's even better. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Oh. <laughs> you, you the sunshine definitely makes a difference. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, you've both, you've both had to change drastically um, your practices over the past year. Is there anything going forward? Um, is there anything that you're going to keep? You, you know, is it, has it been a reflective process for you? I, I mean, we I will mean, me. continue. Sorry, Louise, go on. <laughs> No, carry on. Well, yeah, we will continue with some of the classes online because I think some people have now got used to that as well. Um, and now me and Nettie have had to teach ourselves from not knowing anything about teaching online to being masters at it <laughs> or as masters as we can be. Um, so, yeah, we've definitely learned a lot, an awful lot. And we, we will keep those um, we'll keep those skills that we've learned for sure. Yeah. Right, great. I think it's great to have that option as well. Do you not think, Jane? Yeah. I think it's good because um, a lot of people are still a little bit nervous about coming back to the gym. I mean, obviously, we can't wait because it's it's our zone and we love being there and we love seeing all our customers. Yeah. And I think it's great for them because it's the social side of things as well. And yeah. the fact that you are in a group with like-minded people that want to well, work out. How I'll tell you what, Lou, let's play, let's play a little bit of music and we'll come back and talk okay. about the exciting plans for the future in a minute. We have Louise and Jane, who are both fitness and health professionals from Ulverston on the show this afternoon. And we've been talking about how you've been coping over the, the past year. Obviously, massive changes to your practices. Um, to deal with the coronavirus pandemic, but um, things are starting to change. And obviously a new release of restrictions on Monday the 17th. So um, how are things changing for you now? Well, for me, I am so looking forward to face-to-face um, -face classes, as I know Jane is, is as well. Um, it's just great to see people back in the gym enjoying what they love and group exercise is such it's such a stress release isn't it it's it releases those endorphins as well makes us feel great and it's great to be working out with like-minded people and also for me as an instructor I like to see people's faces I like to see them sweat and look like they're enjoying themselves singing along to the music and really feeling great after this huge lockdown um, and the online classes have been amazing as well because obviously they've kept people motivated and on the path of exercise and I think 
you know, when you're working out on your own, you really do need to push yourself, you know, and it's been brilliant that people have done that and embraced it. Yeah. And also so a, lot, a lot easier, and, isn't it, when you're in a group? It is. It's, it's Absolutely. You can motivate <coughs> Um, Jane, you can see the reaction. Are the safety measures that are going to be put into place? Yeah, well, we still have restrictions, obviously. Um, we still have all the COVID restrictions, the two metre distancing. We, inside at the gym at Ulverston Health Club um, on North Lonsdale Road, we are allowed limited numbers. So we have a booking system to ensure that we don't get any extra people. Um, but what we are doing at the Elverston Health Club from Monday, we have um, we're putting all our morning classes are going to be inside the gym at ten o'clock, and then we're also um, including Wednesday and Thursday we are putting on two new classes, which are the outdoor classes on Burkrig and Ford Park, and we're going to offer those for any new customers. They're going to be free this next week. They're going to be a free class. So anybody that's a bit apprehensive about going back inside just yet, they can come to the outdoor classes, still have the face-to-face -face experience, but they're in the fresh air and they can try that for free on Wednesday and Thursday next week, which should be fantastic. Yeah, that's yeah. great. That's great. Louise, what are you up to over the next few weeks then? Um, most of my classes are going to be in Overton Tennis Centre and in the pool studio. Um, I'm already in the schools that I work in, which has been great. And my dance school is open now. Um, obviously, all the COVID restrictions are in place. So everyone has to follow the procedures. But that doesn't mean to say that we can't work out and it feels safe and enjoy the experience of being back in the gym and seeing people face to face. So I'm really looking forward to it. I've got lots of things happening. Dance aerobics and um, dance fitness, obviously, which is going to be at Overson Health Club. Some HIT. Um, some fitness pilates and some body conditioning as well to try and shift my lockdown load <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're, we're keen we just to get a bit of that yeah, yeah, we're keen just to get everybody back motivated and and we know that some people are really scared about coming back into the gym or even back to classes because everybody thinks I haven't done enough exercise or I've done nothing even and they're worried about coming back but we just wanted to reassure everybody that it doesn't matter how fit or unfit you are there's there's options for everybody all abilities and you'll be made to feel very welcome by myself Louise Nettie you know we'll just have great fun we've been shimmying on Burkrig we've been doing all sorts of things. <laughs> where can where can people find out how to join the classes then so we've got our Facebook page for Ulverston Health Club. Um, all the details are on there. On my Facebook page, Jane Crossley. Um, Louise, she has her own Facebook page as well. Don't you, Lou? I do. And um, obviously, we've got the UK Better app as well. People can book for the Ulverston Leisure Centre there. And, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty accessible. Do you know what I mean? Everyone's getting into that technology age now, and which is great. And I'm just really looking forward to seeing people. And I think the fact that we are out there doing what we love is really important to us as instructors. And um, if you are a little bit nervous about coming back, as Jane says, there's lots of classes available for you to choose from. And you'll find something that suits you and the time. And don't worry. Just yeah. come along and you just come do along and do you what can. you do. Do what you can, don't you? Exactly. You do what you can. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. All right then. That's that's fantastic. It's so lovely to see you both again. And um, lovely to see you, Andrea. And you too. Thank, Thank you. you for having us.